Hello, welcome to this presentation of plumbing parts identification where we are looking specifically at piping supports and hangers. My name is Thomas and in this episode we're going to focus in on commercial type supports for plumbing pipe and systems. Let's start by having a look at clevis hangers. A clevis hanger is a metal assembly that is capable of supporting a heavier pipe. Clevis hangers are suspended from and supported by an all-thread rod Nuts and washers are used to secure the clevis hanger at a specific height or elevation. The hanger consists of a horseshoe shaped piece that supports the pipe and that is secured to the upper portion of the hanger by a long bolt and a nut and a washer. Clevis hangers are adjustable in length by moving the nuts and washers up and down on the all thread rod, but the clevis hangers are also specifically sized for the pipes that would pass through them. Now that would also include the possibility of these pipes having insulation around them. So if a pipe is going to be insulated, we would need to select a clevis hanger that is large enough to handle both the pipe and the insulation. Clevis hangers are installed wherever pipe support is necessary and these hangers can be spaced closer together than the minimum requirements. You see here example of cast iron pipe that is suspended by clevis hangers in many of the locations near the joints to keep it in proper alignment and to maintain proper slope. Let's talk about strut and strut clamps for a minute. Strut is a metal channel that is used for creating supports. Strut is sometimes called unistrut, which is one of the particular manufacturers of this strut. Slotted strut has elongated holes, which provide a place for all thread rod or bolts to go through to secure the strut. Now this strut can be cut to different lengths. It comes generally in a 20 foot length. It can be installed horizontally or vertically and struts can be bolted together to form larger supports. The channels are generally one and five eighths inch wide but can be in different depths. The typical depth for strut is one and five eighths but you can also get what is called thin strut which is seven eighths inch deep. Strut clamps are designed to interlock with the strut and press the pipe against the strut. Strut clamps consist of two halves that come around the pipe and are tightened together by a bolt and a nut. Strut clamps are specifically sized to correspond to each pipe size and type. That means you have strut clamps specifically for iron pipe size or for copper pipe sizes and you need to make sure you have the correct ones. Strut clamps that are not the correct size will not work. If the clamp is too big, it will not hold the pipe tight against the strut. If the clamp is too small, the bolt and nut will not reach together between the two halves to clamp the pipe down. Strut is made of steel and when copper is clamped to the strut, copper needs to be protected from touching the steel. Plastic tape can be applied to keep this copper from touching the strut. If copper does touch a dissimilar metal, such as steel, the water passing through the pipe can cause electrolysis, which is a condition that actually deteriorates the pipe. Multiple pipes can be hung on the same strut hangers. These are called trapeze hangers. Pipes are clamped over the top of the strut and held down tight against the strut, creating this trapeze hanger. Trapeze hangers are generally hung at the same elevation so that the pipe can run flat as it sits on top of those hangers. Pipes changing direction can be supported by trapeze hangers of different heights or angles. And next we have riser clamps. Riser clamps are designed to support pipes vertically. The riser clamp consists of two halves that are held together by two bolts and two nuts on either side, which create a tight hold as they're compressed against the pipe. Riser clamps usually installed at each floor level and the clamp helps to keep that pipe from falling down through the hole into the next floor. Riser clamps can hold a significant amount of weight and they are made to fit specifically around whatever pipe size they are applied to. So as with the strut clamps, you have to make sure that you have the correct size riser clamp for the pipe that you're using. And there are iron pipe sizes and copper tube sizes as well. Now again, obviously, 
if you don't have the right size, it's either going to fall through or it's not going to hold. So this one's really important that we get the right size. Let's have a look at a copper stub out bracket. Copper stub out brackets are designed to hold copper pipes as the pipes extend from the inside of the wall into the room. Copper pipe fits through the holes specifically designed to hold that size of pipe. The pipe is then soldered to that copper stub out bracket. Copper stub out brackets are sometimes called hold right brackets because hold right is one of the common manufacturers of these brackets. These brackets are attached to the frame wall structure using self tapping metal screws that can screw into those metal studs. The bracket must be set level so that the pipes will come out of the wall at the same elevation. And these are generally used just for stub outs near or behind plumbing fixtures. Let's have a look at one more type of bracket. This is an adjustable mounting bracket. These are made out of metal and can be adjusted to the width of the studs to provide a vertical support for piping. A pipe is attached to the adjustable mounting bracket using a two hole strap, which is a horseshoe shaped strap that goes around the pipe and then is secured on both sides of that pipe to hold it in place. The clamp is secured to the bracket using self tapping metal screws and once again these two hole straps have to be specific to the type of pipe and size of pipe. Here we have an example of a cast iron pipe that is supported by a two inch two hole strap and then a smaller half inch copper tube that is supported by a half inch copper two hole strap. Notice on the copper that this copper pipe is once again protected from touching any of that steel metal to avoid electrolysis. So these types of brackets can be used to support either drains or water lines in a commercial building. Hangers and supports that are suspended by using all thread rod must be attached to the structure in some way. Now this can be for clevis hangers or trapeze hangers, but a beam clamp can be used to connect to trusses, beams, or other structures that can hold and support that pipe below. Beam clamp attaches to the metal structure by sliding over the top of one lip of a beam or a truss, and then a bolt is tightened against the other side to create a really tight and secure connection. Then there's a nut on the bolt that will be tightened against the clamp to make sure that that bolt will not come loose. All thread is then suspended from that beam clamp. This is a great way to provide support. There are different size beam clamps to handle different size all threads, and these are designed to hold different amounts of weight. So you wanna make sure that you get the correct beam clamp to match the all thread, and that it's rated to carry the weight. Most of the time, the plans are gonna spec out what you need. All right, that does it for this parts identification presentation where we focused on pipe supports and hangers in a commercial setting. Hopefully between this and the residential supports video, you have a little better idea of what these supports and hangers are called and how they are installed.